Well, hey everybody, this is Dr. Austin Perlmutter, and today we're going to talk about something that is pretty relevant for just about everybody. What happens when we don't get enough sleep to our dietary choices? Specifically, do we eat more calories? Little hint, the answer is yes. This is really a fascinating study, and it's entitled The Effects of Partial Sleep Deprivation on Energy Balance, a Systematic Review, and a Meta-Analysis. And just as a reminder, what that means, a systematic review and meta-analysis, is that the researchers here looked at all the studies that had already been published on this subject, and they pooled the results. And from this, they were able to synthesize a conclusion that maybe is a little bit more valid than any individual study. And this paper was published in 2016 in the European Journal of Clinical Nutrition. What did they actually look at here? Well, it was a meta-analysis of 11 separate studies, and that was including a total of 172 different people. And here they're looking at the effects of both acute and chronic partial sleep deprivation. So the difference between those being acute partial sleep deprivation is not getting enough sleep on one night and what happens the next day versus long-term getting insufficient sleep. And what they were looking at is what happens to your 24-hour energy consumption, meaning are you eating more calories, less calories, and what does that mean over the course of a 24-hour window? Well, what they found in this study is that this partial sleep deprivation is associated with an increased consumption of 385 kilocalories with no change in energy expenditure. That is almost 400 extra calories a day that are associated with just this partial sleep deprivation. And as I'm sure you can imagine, those calories add up fast. The researchers state that these results propose sleep as a potential novel target for weight management when you add it into physical activity and dietary management in the clinical setting. So what's the bottom line here is that poor sleep increases disconnection syndrome. And in this case, it increases the disconnection that we have between our health and with what we want our health to be. There's a whole lot of fascinating research on this subject, and as we talk about in Brainwash, one of the central mechanisms here is that poor sleep seems to kind of keep us locked into the amygdala. It increases impulsive decision-making, and in general, it threatens our good decision-making. So this is really something we need to be aware of, and again, as we talk about in Brainwash, there are a lot of reasons why we're not getting such good sleep uh, which include caffeine at the wrong hour, which include overexposure to our screens, specifically the blue light coming from our screens at the end of the day. Um, but the bottom line here is that we're now learning that sleep deficit is correlated quite closely with a whole bunch of damaging, health damaging, happiness damaging outcomes. And again, in this paper, it seems that one of those problems is that we're eating about 400 extra calories a day if we're not getting enough sleep. Okay, so this is a phenomenal study that gives us an understanding of where the research is at when it comes to how much we sleep and where our calorie intake lies. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you soon.